Hi, this is Zach from IT and Computer Services. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to sync Evolution Mail with the Microsoft Exchange 2007 server using the MAPI protocol. So first we're just going to go ahead and open up our Synaptic Package Manager so that we can install the plugin that will allow us to sync with the MAPI protocol. So the package we're looking for is called Evolution Mappy, and that's this one right here. So go ahead and mark that for installation. Mark, and apply the changes. Now that the installation is complete, simply close the Synaptic Package Manager. Go ahead and click Applications, Internet, Evolution Mail. Since this is our first run, this screen pops up. Go ahead and click Forward. We don't need to restore from a backup, so click Forward again. Type in the full name and the email address. So we test, and our email address is test at dirtandgas.com. Click Forward. Change the server type to Exchange Mappy. The server name, for us, that's simply server. The username, so for us that's test, and the domain name. So that'd be dirt and gas. Go ahead and click authenticate. Type in your password, and this is the Active Directory password. So now it's authenticated successfully. These are the settings we used. We can go ahead and click OK. Forward. Set up your options. So we're going to check for new messages most every five minutes. And we want to check for new messages in all folders. We can automatically synchronize the account locally. And that's all we're going to do for now. But it's up to you. You can ch change these to your liking. And now the account information. I like to leave the actual account name, so if I'm working with a lot of accounts, I know which one I received it under, and we'll make it a work account. This is all just user preference. Go ahead and click Apply. Now Evolution will run for the first time. You go to your inbox. You've got a standard message. Click Send and Receive. Connect to the MAPI server. So we can close that there tab down and open up our email account that we just added and the mailbox. If we go to the inbox, these here are the emails that we have received. If you go down to calendars, that will also be synchronized with your account, as is contacts. However, I did find that the first time you run this, uh, if you do have contacts to sync over, they don't successfully sync for some reason, but once you've closed out of Evolution and reopened it, they will be there, and it has worked for us. So that's about all there is to setting up Evolution to use a Microsoft Exchange 2007 server, and this final dialog box is simply asking us to remember the password so we don't have to type it in. Go ahead and type always allow.